Yo, good morning. What's good, Fight Fam? Finna show this film study real quick. Let y'all uh, pile in. Fight Fam, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. Class in session. It's cool, boy Steph. Reverse the monster, you know, yeah. Let's get right into it. Moving up as the former undisputed bantamweight champion, Naoya Inoye is one of the most skilled fighters in boxing. He's a complete fighter who adapts based on the style of his opponent. When looking at his entire skill set, Alabama it's man. no surprise why he's ranked so high on the Yes, list. sir. <laughs> Fundamentally sound, Morning. Inoye establishes his offense behind an eight hand. He uses it to control and close distance, offset rhythm, and set up traps for power punches. Once he establishes his jab, Inoye typically follows with jab feints and jab hand manipulation in order to land the cross or overhand as shown in both oh, fights shit. against Donaire. Damn, this is different. <laughs> uh, the morning action is very different, bro. Ramirez won by knockout. Beat the breaks off, buddy. Nothing crazy had happened until it did. A quick right hand. Inoye is very versatile when it comes to setting up his overhand. In the Maloney fight, he uses a high guard trap while using a level change feint in order to bait out Maloney's jab, landing the overhand and stopping him in the process. Fulton has proven to be very susceptible to this counter in previous fights. 100% and definitely would change right yeah, Watch out for that level change backhand. When Inoye applies pressure, it's usually behind an inconstant high guard that he uses in order to slip, block, or step back and counter. Nice, right? Oh, nice upper. Who y'all got? Inoye also likes to use the jab in order to set up his counter lead forward, hand hook. In the As stated by Boxing Gems, he does this by stepping to the ball of his front foot in order to quickly transfer his weight to his back foot. A very athletic maneuver with a high risk, high reward setup. It's no stretch to say that at this point, Inoye has the best lead hand hook in all of boxing. We're going to round two of this game. Big Smoke retired. I can see that. I hear you, fam. Haven't slept yet. Oh, shit. Hmm. Inoye is known for being one of the best finishers in the sport. A big reason for that is how he applies methodical pressure when attacking his opponent's body. He uses the high guard while throwing precise combinations, which usually forces his opponents to shell up or remain in an active high guard in order to land his signature liver shot. Oh shit. Uh, I like the I like how we split in the comment section. We're gonna get some honest scoring here. I like it. It's either gonna be wide or honest. Plus, yeah, I got him at plus 300. In the way, gloves about decision, goddamn.
Inouye has pretty underrated defense. When in the center ring, he steps back and uses the long guard or frames his punch traffic in order to tangle his opponent's punches and control distance. Tom, what's good with you, bro? When Inouye isn't using punch traffic to control distance, he has displayed some beautiful upper body movement and reflexes. When fighting on the inside, Inouye tends to move linearly and in an active high guard, leaving himself vulnerable to be picked apart to the body and head around the guard. Inouye has proven to be susceptible to counter lead hooks or check hooks when trying to open up and initiate offense on the inside. This can be quite an obstacle against Fulton, who has great lateral movement and uses check hooks often within a fight. However, this typically oh, occurs wait a minute. when All right. Inouye decides Hold on. to lock his opponent down with the high. Hold on, they said it's a whole hour until this fight starts? They're drawing. I don't, think right. I don't think it's an hour no more. The timer just came on again. Oh no, it's thirty-seven minutes. God damn, bro! That's it was an hour at the start of this fight. God damn! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I should have started this when that timer went off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, it's gonna be a lot of fluff here too. Um. All right, let's keep going with the film study. Then we'll talk about the Ramirez fight, I guess. High guard after establishing control and physical dominance throughout the fight. As I stated before, Inouye's jab hook trap comes with risk. When Inouye follows a jab with his lead hand hook, he typically keeps his head on the line and has his hands down. Mentioned before by boxing legend Tim Bradley, Inouye loves to circle in the direction of his opponent's power hand. Although this helps Inouye effectively land his jab hook counter, it also leaves him open to be countered with crosses and overhands. There's one consistent flaw within Inouye's game. It's his tendency to move back in straight lines. In his first fight against Donaire, Inouye had a lot of trouble getting out of the way when Donaire would throw a swivel jab or a double jab cross. Being the explosive and technical fighter Fulton is, he can definitely exploit this bad habit. Hey, see, go, go, big smoke. What's good with y'all, man? The box, Raphael. What up? What up? Brandon Sanders was good. T-Word, what up, bro? When fighting Inouye, most of his opponents don't initiate offense very often. Good morning. However, when it does occur, Inouye has shown the good afternoon, to faint backhand wherever you might be located. While remaining stationary with good evening, range. even. <laughs> His opponent is unified super bantamweight champion Stephen Fulton. The highly skilled Fulton boasts an impressive and boxing's best feat, as Inouye will make the 10th undefeated fighter he has fought throughout his career in only 21 fights. Fulton has a good lead hand, which of course includes That's impressive, a good bro. jab based off timing. It's quick and accurate with little wasted movement or tells that it's coming. Fulton does well at switching up his guard from traditional to a low lead hand so the jab can variate levels. Power jabs, flick jabs, up jabs, and stab jabs are all staples to his game. And 22 pitching in to where he was aggressive. Through the defense easily for full. Another right. Getting when the jab lulls opponents to sleep, eventually Fulton puts the cross behind the jab and sometimes the swivel jab behind the cross, making a one-two-one -one combination. However, aside from the jab, Fulton tends to throw lead power more often than the fundamental jab cross, 
Again, lulling opponents to sleep with the jab, Fulton's elite athleticism, throwing the lead cross or overhand often surprises opponents. Fulton often lets the cross carry him into a design forward shift. It's on ESPN Plus. To step around his orthodox opponents for the advantageous positioning or for defensive responsibility. ESPN Plus, folks. Opponents that utilize or default to high guards against Fulton give him easy access to close distance and let go of combinations, body and head. Fulton simply probes the jab or double jabs to force the shell up. With nothing in the way and less threat of a counterpunch, he steps in and goes to work. Fulton's inside game could be a clear advantage in this fight. He's proven to be more comfortable and physical on the inside than Inouye. Fulton utilizes high-level tactics like physical controls and clinches to ensure the advantages. Veteran savvy on the inside. He also seemingly has better understanding of combination punching on the inside and variates them very well. Who you got? I got uh 50 50, but I bet Fulton because he was an underdog. It's more, it was a value bet, so let's just say Fulton for my money. <laughs> Jacob, who you got? Uh, shoot, I got in a way. Um, uh, by one percent from the outside when opponents try hour, close I'm distance four, Fulton is also an excellent counter puncher <laughs> it's typical to see him use step back counter hooks with either hand but he'll switch it up to cross his that, uh, hands and occasionally uppercuts man, as well i think that uh that single mid-range jab problem that fulton has if his power carries up i don't see that not being a major problem for fulton yeah i feel you on that uh triggs who you got I want to say in a way, like I feel like if he's who I think he is, then I think he'll take it. Mm -hmm. Um, but he's gonna wake up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I done woke up like fifteen minutes. Ago. I woke up right before the Rubisi face started. <laughs> <laughs> Got my coffee right here, Lord. <laughs> Yeah, nah, I, I definitely uh drank two big ass glasses of water. I don't drink coffee though. But um I right, if he is who we think he is, or who you think he is, who do you think he is? <laughs> nah, I think I was about to say some casual shit. I was about to say the speed and the power. The <laughs> speed and the power. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. It's in the morning, so you can say that. Yeah, nah. <laughs> But, I don't but then I was thinking, though, I was thinking, like, is he going to be too much for um Fulton to handle? Like, I was like, I think this fight is more 50-50 than Spencer and Crawford. Like, I think it's really right there. Like, I was kind of leaning towards Fulton yesterday, but I'm still going anyway. Yeah, I got you. You know what? The reason I think Fulton has a good chance is he has the opportunity to – to keep outside positioning and, and just stay there, you know, against a smaller guy. Um, he has the ability to do that for sure. You know what I'm saying? If Fulton boxes, I don't mean necessarily use a bunch of lateral movement. I just mean control distance. It's, it's really hard for the smaller guy, no matter how skilled or, you know, talented they are to, to show his same game. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you got your shorter, shorter arm or shorter reach, all that shit. So, so if, you know, a, a skilled, bigger opponent just decides to, you know, keep it long, use the jab, use the backhand, it'll be a similar situation or not as not as bad, but a similar situation of uh, Spence, Mikey Garcia. See, Spence, Spence actually fought the smartest fight. He didn't just... You know, the bullshit line of, you know, I tried to outbox Mikey Garcia. That's bullshit, bro. He, he fought the smartest fight he could by by controlling distance. 
control distance on a on a smaller guy, you know, you're gonna be able to hit him when he can't hit you. So, so I think some of the same thing could happen this fight. Um, but now if Fulton gives up that distance and 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 you know, and it's a majority mid range fight. I think in a way sharp as fuck mid range. Uh, you know, slip counters, the level change counters, the you know what I'm saying his setups, his his traps he baits with his lead hand to throw that that backhand overhand. Like, bro, it's, it's going to be a problem. Oh, the, the setups to the liver shots is ridiculous. Um, it's going to be a whole problem. But then, if the range is inside and Fulton is able to smother in a way, then man, in a, I mean, Fulton's pretty goddamn good at at physical controls and turning that shit into offense too. And I'm not sure how you know well in a way does it that I haven't really seen that out of in a way. He's not really a physical guy. He's just more of a you know technical skill guy. So we'll, we'll see, man. I see ways for both fighters to win. That's why I originally called it 50 50. Yeah, definitely. I disagree with that statement. What statement? Right, we keep playing the rest of this shit while we're waiting for this timer. While Fulton may not be as quick as Inoue, he'd definitely be considered a slick fighter. Slips, shuffles, pivots, hot pivots, and more are all within his repertoire. All right, so you disagree with the statement, but you say this. He didn't, he didn't. <laughs> all right, so Danny Garcia was stationary. He didn't move. Ugas, he didn't walk down. Ugas walked him down and and Ugas just stayed there. Six o'clock in the morning, bro. Yeah, check out the fights again, man. Fulton tends to have the general issue of stepping in with a single jab and nothing else. Spence Ugas, uh, Ugas on his back foot game in the first round. He's on his back foot game in the second round for half the round. Then he starts staying stationary. Then he starts walking Spence down. Third round, Ugas is walking Spence down. Then Spence just stops walking back and then meet him where he's at. And that's the rest of the fight. Uh, inside fight, 50-50 uh, exchanges. Ugas never back to his step back game. He just stays there and gets beat up. That's exact. That's exactly how it went. It wasn't no Spence walking. Oh God! So actually, landed jab. You're either at well, range Jim, or mid range. You this typically means your opponent can hit you, you just what? like you can you hit hedge them. Your full step in with. Nah, nah. It's just straight up. Danny Garcia, man. I just watched that fight the other day. Actually, um, Spence Danny Garcia. That shit was. I mean, first of all, Spence won that fight with a jab. So to say he walked him down, I mean, not nah, bro, he won it with a jab. Um, they landed down there about the same power, uh, power punches. You're saying he made it an inside fight, but won it with a jab. The, the biggest difference in that fight was one person was landing a jab, one person wasn't. Of course, he could have walked him down. But the smartest fight was to keep it on the outside and, and shit, keep it in a range where where I can hit you and you can't hit me. It's <sighs> a lot of... What's the timer on, man? 20 something minutes.
maneuver that his past opponents haven't been able to take advantage of. However, none of those fighters were on the pound for pound list or considered amongst the most skilled. Now, this is a tough fight for me to pick a winner. Let me go Both back. Fighters are pretty much complete fighters that can do just about losses, often protecting the scoring criteria. Although Fulton purposefully leaves his back leg throwing over. So reaching and lunging. If Fulton gets to doing this, he better make sure he does what he just did right there, which is smother in a way's work. And, you know, into a clinch, into an inside fight. Anytime he leaves space like he just did right there. Shit, it's going to be punishing against in a way. Space like right there. We're going to see what he does on that because when he throws his backhand, he, he definitely uh, forward shifts a lot. But usually, you know, sometimes he could do it with defensive responsibility or as much as he can. But sometimes he can't, you know what I mean? But if he just forward shifts and leaves that little bit of space where punches could still be thrown, yeah, in a way might take major advantage of that. But then if he smothers... If he smothers in a way and, uh, you know, is able to grab an arm or work with the other arm and, you know what I'm saying, be physical with in a way, he might have a lot of success doing that. God damn, 22 minutes. Uh, Jacob, you saw the Ramirez fight? Nah, I'm about to go back and watch it right now. I was just about to say that. Yeah, you might as well, right? 22 minutes. What you think about it, Jims? What you think about Robesi? Uh, I think he's, you know, he's improving steadily, man. He's yeah. improving. Um. Um, I'm not sure how much I like the uh, the whole the high guard game plan because I mean, so against this opponent, obviously it worked. Um, obviously it worked because so Robisi was in his high guard. What's what's my man's name? What was his opponent's name? Satoshi Shimizu. Shimizu was uh, you know, obviously he defaulted to the high guard too. And Robisi was just a hell of a lot more accurate than than Buddy. You know what I'm saying? He was he was picking his shots around that guard pretty damn easy, where Shimizu was 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 basically hitting Robisi's guard. Anyway, but the problem with it is they were able to match volume. You know what I'm saying? Like so so Shimizu, uh, the, the Japanese fighter <laughs> did. <laughs> He wasn't landing like Robisi, but he was able to match his volume and touch something, you know what I'm saying, as much as Robisi was touching him. So, uh, you know, one day that shit might not work for you, but I know Robisi got different styles for different fighters, so it is what it is. But, yeah, uh, he picked his shots beautifully in this fight. Uh, basically just warmed down with accumulation. But go ahead, Trish. How you think of it? Yeah, first I was like the round before. I think it was the round. I don't know if it was the round before, or two rounds before, but I remember Tim and them said it like right after. Like he should have touched the body more. Cause I'm like yeah. thirty seven and then he five eleven at like featherweight. He's, you know, this a twig. So should shot that tree down. Yeah, I was listening to him say, um, yeah. Uh, somebody asked why does Robisi always punch up instead of just hit the body? Yeah. Uh. He definitely yeah. could have. But shit, like, he was touching them, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, why would you, you know, if you could hit the head. I mean, I obviously, you need to chop down that tree. But if you could hit the head that easily, why would you stray away from it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, of course, obviously, it led to a knockout. So. Still in that amateur mindset. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Amateurs don't really like to hit the body. For sure. Yeah. And Robisi still got that footwork though, bro. Yeah, hello? 
Oh, uh, yeah, he still got a bunch of footwork issues. Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. I seen something. There wasn't, dude, dude, dude wasn't attacking it, though. He nah. was. Uh, Raph, what's good, fam? What's good, James, bro? How, how you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good, bro, because it's midday here for once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Talk, we, we just, we stretching and yawning and shit over here. Uh, what time <laughs> is it over there? It's 6.26 here. Hey, yeah. Ooh, 6.26, and they haven't even started. Right. <laughs> Damn. You boys got a long day ahead of you. Yeah, the shit. I still gotta go to work after this. Damn. Yeah. Who, you, who have you lot got then? Fulton, anyway. Uh, uh, I think Jacob said, "Go ahead, Jacob." All right. So right now I got Inouye. If you ask me in ten minutes, I'm gonna say Fulton. So fifty fifty. <laughs> okay. Trey's got a sleepy. Reason. Trey's got a sleepy Inouye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Speeding the power. So I, 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 I've been said, I've been said, I got a 50 50. I can see passive victory for both guys. I explained it earlier. But um, who you got? Yeah. Uh, To be honest, I, I've got like a low key gut feeling that Fulton might get chinned. But at the same time, I, I could see either one of them winning. Yeah. Uh, see, for like in a way, I think he gets hit by more like common punches, like straight punches. Uh, mm -hmm. But he takes less flush shots. But I think with Fulton, he takes less straight punches, and he don't get touched much. But when he gets touched, he get touched flush. Mm -hmm. Like for that, like in the um, also Arnold Kegai fight. Yeah, shit. Sure. Adam Lopez too. <laughs> Adam Lopez as well, yeah. There you go. Like he, he don't get touched much, but like when he gets touched, it's gonna be like it's gonna be a flush shot. Mm -hmm. And then I, I don't think that that's not sounding too great when you've got the mon monster potentially landing on you. I hear you. Here you go. And we're not going uh, to same time that anyone can win. Yeah, check out the screen. Here go to Adam Lopez joint. Full step in single jabs. I don't know why fighters do it. Bink. Mm. Bink. Yeah, and then in the uh, Arnold Kegai fight, when he starts to sit down, uh, Kegai starts landing like these just constant like overhand rights on him. Mm-hmm. They didn't hurt him, but then again, like I don't think Arnold Kegai punches like Inoue. Mm, that's uh, I don't know, man. That's a that's a bold statement, though. You sure? You talking I about mean, division to, to division now? Yeah, no, nah, I think Inoue is a harder hitter than Arnold Kegai. Okay. We're I don't know. That's, that's, that's just my opinion. I don't know. When you put them side by side, to me, you know, it looks more explosive. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think he would look more explosive, for sure. I, I think, you know, in a way, in a way, his punch technique damn near perfect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So all that shit going to be hard. But, you know, he moving up in a division, you know, does it does it carry mm -hmm. up? Does it carry Find up? Find out in 23 minutes. <laughs> yeah. 16 minutes. Y'all, um, so I look, I'm one of the few people that seem like they had not looked into this controversy shit. H have y'all done that? Unfortunately. Uh, not really. Yeah, I haven't looked into it. All right, Jacob, go ahead and break it down. All right, he asked a question. Hold on. Let me, uh, shit. Uh, basically, uh, Fucking Fulton's coach said that. Uh, what? Well, well, time out, time out. Angel Garcia is Fulton's trainer, bro. He's one of his trainers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Damn. <laughs> but uh, uh, basically, uh, Fulton's coach said um at the press conference that um, in a way, stacks his hand wraps. Mm -hmm. Um, and he basically said 
he puts the tape in the gauze, then the tape, then the more gauze, then more tape, blah, blah, blah. And he basically right. said, right. Uh, I heard it was, I heard it was tape on skin first, yeah, tape, and then, tape God, on yeah. skin, then the yeah. gauze. Yeah. And yeah. like, as you sweat, it creates a cast and it lets yeah. you punch with a little more reckless abandon, you know, because mm -hmm. you're not too afraid of breaking your hands. Uh, and basically, uh, well, so the other part of a cast is it's a cast, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, it's like punching with a blunt object yeah yeah so um with a hard blunt object but go ahead so basically his coach said that if the problem is a resolve he's not gonna let in a way he's not gonna let fulton fight fulton made a face when he when he heard that shit mm -hmm. uh but um it was resolved bro, bro basically uh i think in team agreed to uh put the gauze on directly instead of the tape so they conceded that shit uh essentially the the main thing was in japan it's legal and i think it's legal in nevada and another state in america so it's really a non-issue but if that uh, was an, if that was something that uh that his coach saw as a problem then it, he did his job you know what i'm saying so it is what it is the steroid shit basically like back in may in a way was like he uh he put up a tweet. He was like, "God damn, two times a week of testing is too is too much, right?" But in the tweet, he had a he had a picture of his blood samples that Vada took. So I don't know how people somehow misconstrued that shit as he was he's refusing to get tested, and then he made up an injury to, so he didn't have to get tested. It's a bunch of oh, I don't really care. That's the controversy, bro. That's the controversy. That's what it is. He said two weeks. Uh, yeah. Test every two weeks is too much. No, no, no. He said two times a week. Two times test. a week. Yeah, he said it's too much, <laughs> and he he complained about it on on Twitter. And niggas are saying he's he's juicing because of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty dumb, bro. Yo, that's funny as hell. I think it's because fighters usually gas up their harder test. Like, oh look at me, I'm being. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, you know, it's tweeting out. This is too much. In one way. It's uh, one thing to do that, but the nigga literally has a picture of his tests in the yeah, in the I'm, I'm That's crazy. Uh you break you you doing all types of breaking up rap. Oh my god. You start you sound a little robotic. Oh yeah, there was another thing. Uh man. <laughs> Fucking um, so when they went to inspect the gloves, um the gloves they gave uh, Fulton's team that were anyways gloves, they were opened and retaped. I don't really know the uh, the processes as to when a, a, a trainer can inspect the opponent's gloves if they're open before or not. So uh, yeah, no, they supposed to. They supposed the first time they open them is supposed to be at that at that little picking event. Ah, okay. So yeah, they shouldn't have been open for shit. It should have been straight from the manufacturer. To the table or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, either way, I mean, goddamn, did you inspect them? <laughs> <laughs> did you inspect the glove? Because you could try on your opponent's gloves yeah. and everything, you know. Yeah, you saying? see that all the time. So, yeah. I mean, if it was an issue, I mean, look, the, the coach clearly uh is concerned about his fighter's safety. So even if the gloves were already open. If he inspected them and found something worth bringing up, he would have brought it up, and we didn't hear anything. So we can all we can only assume that the gloves were fine. Right, right. You think he's trying to play like mind games, like with Devin Haney and Loma? Oh, he kept calling him a dirty fighter. That's what I thought at first, but nah, nah. I think he was really serious about his shit. Okay. Well, so what are you saying? Stacking's legal in Japan. Yeah, it's stack. It's illegal in Japan, and I think then it's illegal in Nevada. Then the Fulton can stack too. Theoretically, yeah. Unless he's like just saying it, like in like genuine regards for his fighters' health. Yeah, Obviously, you want more. Yeah, yeah, fair enough then. Love gate is real. Most of these boxers look for any advantage in a fight. 
gloves weren't open winning gloves usually aren't taped in the packaging the gloves were fine gloves weren't open no you just showed a picture of the package taped up that's all uh permission inspects them first glove gate is real it's really mm. the gloves it's more the way people wrap their hands this high guard shit is new from Rubasi. Man, it worked this far. Yeah, but maybe they just saw something they like. They just wanted to open, you know, buddy to open up. You know what I'm saying? By attacking a high guard. I hope so. Like those dude was gonna have more power because they said he had like eleven wins and ten knockouts, but I think it's because he he's an older fighter. So I'm pretty sure he's probably comfortable taking the shots on the high guard. Mm. He was blocking them pretty easily. Like a lot of the shots wasn't going through. All I think of when I see Ramirez fight is Figueroa. I think Figueroa will beat the dog shit out of this dude, man. For Brandon Figueroa? Yeah. Beat the dog shit out of who? Out of Ramirez. I think so. Think so? That's what I think, bro. If you uh, if you're a fighter that's prone to be getting pushed back and shit, we're talking about Figueroa. That nigga, that dude is just completely relentless and shit. Now you got to yeah. cross the high guard, bro. Yeah, I mean, I feel you. I feel you. Figueroa would be would be a tough fight for any technician, bro. That's that's a fact. Any yeah. technician. Just dude, you know, I think he's uh, I think I looked it up recently. That dude is like. He's like top three in volume in boxing, period. Like he throws he average like one. 92 around. Nah, he used to be number one. I remember. Damn. Yeah, yeah, he used to be number one. Yeah, yeah I think his, his last fight, he was a little. Uh, yeah, the, the Monsanto fight. Yeah, a little bit, yeah, a little bit more. Like 50 yeah. something. He was doing that weird. Y'all, you remember he was doing like some weird switch hitting shit? Trying to be yeah. more technical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you better drop that shit, man. You better be who you are. Hey, he started at the end. I think in the last round, he he landed twenty power punches on Mixayo, bro. Hmm. That shit is ridiculous. How can you watch this fight? ESPN Plus. Um. Uh, let me see where else. <clears throat> I think it's just saying ESPN Plus. Yep. It's only saying ESPN Plus on my app. Yeah, it's only ESPN Plus. Sky Sports Action. I knew it was probably on something else, but not not in America. Well, not in the United States, at least. <sighs> Too overwhelmed. Um, I don't know about that. I mean, it's not like in a way some relentless pressure fighter. He's still a skilled, you know. Uh, technical guy. He's not Figueroa. Robisi fight was 45 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Now, why they had this big ass gap, I have no idea. Maybe somebody in the chat could tell me. Or does anybody know on the panel? Nah, no clue. Nah, nah to be honest. Yeah, it's nine ninety nine. <laughs> Ten bucks here at least. Most of the panel got it fifty fifty. Um I got a fifty fifty. I was sure guys key uh, like uh keys to victory for both men. We're gonna be looking for. 
Uh, hold on. T Word says you can get a free trial for ESPN Plus right now. So, might be able to watch it for free. You said keys to victory? Yeah, what are you looking for from both men? Um, I don't know, man. Uh, so, again, I just think, you know, in a way, we have the advantage mid range. Mm-hmm. Bolton would have the advantage from the outside if if he fought a specific fight where he he always controls distance and doesn't fall in okay. um and fulton would have the advantage on the inside mm. uh theoretically theoretically right. again but it all depends on how he does it you know what i mean sure that's why to me it's uh you know it's 50 50. yeah 50 50. Yeah, fair enough. Because he could, he could definitely like on the outside, he could definitely give away his advantage if he does, you know, the wrong shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, on the inside, he could definitely give away his advantage. He he doesn't have the quicker hands here, I don't believe. Um, if he doesn't control in a way on the inside and then go to work, then it's gonna be trouble. If he, you know, if he leaves in a way his arms free, yeah, that shit gonna be a problem. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. You think Fulton got the better jab? Yeah. Mm. Of the reason why I say that is I, f- I think in a way, kind of like he, it's like his whole body moves with his jab. Like you picked up on that in, one, in your breakdown, where it's yeah. like his head kind of comes off. Like I don't know, it just like his whole his whole body like falls into it almost. Yeah, yeah, because he's normally trying to set up that jab uh hook trap. Yeah. Um, but Fulton does the same thing though. Yeah, Fulton falls in sometimes as well. Yeah, I, I think I think it's about the same, man. I think they got they got really comparable jabs. Right. I think um and Fulton might Fulton might vary his jab a little bit better. Yeah. Mm. He, he throws it, throws it from different levels. Um, I think he throws it the mm, I can't say he throws a stab jab more, but he throws it from different levels more. I say that. So he has the you think he has the better lead hand too? Like does more of his jab. I can't say he has a better lead hand, bro. In a way, got that lead hand hook it in a way is nasty. Yeah. But just also like the fence and stuff that he uses to land his right hands off his jab. Yeah. Nah, he, bro. In a way's lead hand is nasty, fam. Mm. A period. <laughs> the way you know the feints and probes. Yeah, like you just said. Yeah, to set up that backhand. That shit crazy, man. Yeah. Show you, uh, especially you know in that Donaire fight, he showed all that shit. Mm. So I, yeah, man, that's a tough, that's a tough call, man. I think it's it's about even, but because I mean Fulton got his controls as well with the lead hand, but straight up jab, I don't know, man. I I might slightly lean Fulton, but lead hand, I I, I might lean in anyway. Yeah, that's that's pretty fair. Look at Joey. 50 50. Damn tired. What did the timer say? Anybody catch it? I think that's six minutes or something. All right, but click back. God damn, Shim- a, you got to turn on your TV, somebody. Shim- Shimizu was 6 5? Best cap, uh, no way. Yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> nah, he's Who's that? The like... guy Rubisi Ramirez for? Yeah. Nah, he's and, nah. six five. He's five no was, yeah, I'm about to say, I just got a notification from Top Rank saying Rubisi took down six five uh, Shimizu. <laughs> They're fed away, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be crazy, bro. Six yeah, five, be, yeah, you'll be Fundora at Featherweight. Yeah, that'd be wild as fuck. I, I, I'm about to say, I, but it sure said that shit on the notification. I 
Matter of fact, let me see if I can. That's what they said on the broadcast, but on Wikipedia, because I had his shit put up. It's at five ten. They had to be trolling or something. No, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Who's gonna believe that? Because we're basically this half. That's heavyweight size. Like what? Yeah, here you go. Watch. Look at this shit. Let's see if I can share the screen. See. Okay. That's exactly what popped up. I'm like, what the what? fuck? <laughs> they I tell, this dude is six five and this dude is five something. Yeah, right. It's <laughs> <don't know>. what the <laughs> Let me not show that though. <laughs> uh we love top rank. Before we get booted off this shit. Shh. All right, Ramirez stopped him. What's your guys' uh, predictions for Spence, uh, Bud? I got I got Craw- Crawford straight up. Crawford, but well, why? Uh, I think he's the more that I'm a solid, like a casual. Bro, I got four film studies on this shit. So <laughs> I, I'm... No, no, I know that. I'm just like, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What's your, like, do you know what I mean? Summarize it in a sentence. What's, what's the main thing that pushes you over the edge for? Uh, a back, um, step back game. Uh, elite oh, okay. counter puncher and an and elite step back game. Uh, yeah. arrow, arrow, no feints, head on the line. Uh, yeah. sometimes he tends to reach. It's quite uh, robotic. Huh? Stuck on the front foot sometimes. So that's, that to me, that's a stylistic nightmare. Yo, gems. Uh, you said you just watched the Garcia fight again, right? Yeah. Danny Garcia, right? If yeah. I'm not mistaken, right? And, you know, Danny's a counter puncher. Did you notice uh, Spence doing any feigning in that fight? Not, no, not no, no major feints, no. Nah. Damn. Nah, but, but since Danny Garcia was stationary, there's nothing. So there's nothing he could do about the volume. Yeah. Mm. He could counter punch, and he, you know, he could land the counter punches, but you know, he was just getting outworked and and, and obviously out jabbed. All right, let's amp it up. Crawford by points or stoppage? I don't know. Yeah, that's hard that's to predict. Good question. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say stoppage to be honest. Mm. I've, I've, I think I, the difference. I can see it, but go ahead. I think the difference with Crawford and Spence is I think Crawford again, like he kind of gets hit by more common like straight punches and stuff like that. But I think with Spence, he gets touched less. But when he gets touched, it's like a bad flush shot. Like I'm thinking, like particularly in his last fight with Ugas. I mean, Cooley, he didn't touch the canvas or anything, but there were a couple moments I'm like, that he's hurt, bro. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Like he they starts to unfold a bit. They could have actually called a knockdown in that fight, but they didn't. When he uh when the ropes the mouth guard. Him, yeah, ropes nah, definitely yeah, when the ropes. Yeah. But that's you know, hit or miss sometimes. Mm. Legs went stiff for a second though. Yeah, his his uncle almost gave out on him at one point. <laughs> It's all on Crawford though. Crawford got us. If Crawford, oh my God, Bud him. had no step back game versus Avenesia. You ain't know. You don't know what you're watching. Yeah, but Bud, Bud was playing with Avenesia. You, gotta, <laughs> you, you gotta don't know what you're watching, bro. You gotta <laughs> you have no he was. He that was playing with him. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Yeah, he's playing, <laughs> it's crazy. Dude, I just went back recently and watched that fight. Like he, he's like sticking his tongue out, but like the way he's doing it, like you could see, like he really was playing with him. Yeah, <laughs> talking like all small, like you wouldn't even peep it, bro. The setup, the setup for the knockout, I showed, um, like the little highlight package I showed that showed the same thing three times. One of them, one of them included a step back game. I mean, he clearly had a step back game in the fight, fam. In every fight.
Plus, Abanesia fall orthodox. <sighs> yeah. So, y'all motherfuckers, haters and fanboys. <laughs> haters and fanboys, fam. He sound like he call him Earl. Yeah. Nah, he call him. Nah, he call him EJ. If they call him EJ, they probably a fan boy. I can't lie. Earl to me. <laughs> he ain't gonna do nothing with EJ. Yeah, busted gloves. Shaw Man, Porter. Shaw Porter they ain't train right. <laughs> <laughs> Brooke had both eyes fucked up. They call him EJ. They they try, Everybody they else is to him like they know him. Call him EJ like they grew up with the dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Get me wrong, man. I had to. I had to. I remember the cringe fest with the with the Crawford fanboys on the channel too. <laughs> God damn, that shit, that shit was hilarious. I didn't know what to say. Started to make me sick to my stomach. <laughs> Crawford, so. So versatile, man. He's I've so never seen good. nothing like it. <laughs> the best I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, motherfucker. <sighs> hey, good news is come on a panel, man. Bud buddies be twicking. Yeah. I know you ain't calling it us Bud Buddy. Come on a panel. Explain why we bugging. I definitely embarrass you before this fight starts. Earl Spencer. <laughs> so who's walking out first, in a way? I have no Is clue. He? I don't know. I'm just assuming because obviously if, uh, Fulton's the champion defending champ yeah yeah but anyway super a side yeah of course of course yeah hella bread hella money we'll see bro after they get rid of this bum ass vignette yeah yeah i swear they could have shown during the fucking countdown i swear god damn countdown over we gotta watch this shit <laughs> Yeah, I see the only person that <laughs> that joined was Joey. <laughs> uh, hey, who this? Right. Nobody knew, huh? Nobody wanted to defend that shit they talking in the comment section? Oh, okay. Hi, guys. What up, bro? What's up? Good morning. <sighs> Good morning. So, how, how did you like the Croatia fight? I have I had him winning under four, but yeah, what? Fight. You had him winning what? I had Robesi winning in round four, but he went a little bit further in five rounds. You had you had Robisi. I'm sorry. I I I can't. Uh, I can't make out what you're saying. <laughs> My prediction for Robisi Ramirez was the. Oh, he, okay. There he go. was going to knock that knock out the Japanese guy. In four guys. rounds, and it went five. In four rounds. I got and you. And he went to five rounds. Got gotcha. you. Mm. Yeah, I ain't had no prediction. I. Was... It ain't I put him in with. Even look into it. I ain't put him in with nobody really worth much. All due respect. Bruh. You're supposed to look good against that guy. Joe, are you up? Yeah, yo, I I almost freaked out because when I woke when my ass woke up, it was like seven forty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, you ain't missed nothing. Oh shit! I saw all the undercards went through, and I see ten and uh. Mark Kriegel talking. I'm like, oh, okay, good. 
<laughs> but that could have been a post fight shit too. Yeah. Know that, no, I saw the timer. I'm uh, like, bro, ain't, ain't no eight minutes till a post fight shit, and I didn't see no like, <laughs> so, uh, blank beat blank or some shit. I was so I'm like, bro, I, I can't miss this. I <laughs> not after that film study, man. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see this this fucking through. Jimmy Lennon Jr. Mm. Yeah, most popular film study on the channel, huh? By far. That's kind of surprising. Um, shit, not, know. I not after I, that. Yeah, not after that little title thing that gems. Yeah, did. the title trick. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> the cheese. So, I mean, as you can see, bro, like. That, but not nah, even. Before, I remember when it first came out. That shit was fucking like blowing the other Johns out the water with how, yeah. like, how many views it was getting. One hundred seventy six thousand views. Huh? I no, I agree with that. But at the same time, I just think it was that title that just kept it going because eventually all of eventually they all slowed down. But this one had just had the longest. Uh, just, it, it wouldn't stop growing for for yeah. a long period. In okay, in a way, in a way out. yeah, he is walking out first. Oh, okay, that's really respect. I mean, they've been treating Fulton like the champion ever since this fight got announced. To be honest with you, yeah, I ain't seen no real disrespect shit. I mean, bro, they don't really do that shit. Japan, Japan, they be on super respect. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. you see at the face off yesterday. You know where he looked like a five year old kid that ain't getting Mackies when he's going home or something. Wow. He looked like do you know do you know thing? He just he looked really like like he's about to explode with emotions. I didn't think so. I think he looked uh I think they both just looked ready. Yeah. Like, to me when when I saw that, I don't know, I just saw like <laughs> it was like okay. Like I'm like, man, if I had if I was thinking about leaning towards anybody, I said that face off didn't sure as fuck didn't help, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, what I did see is man, in a way look like a like skeletor low key in that that win. What? I thought that was Fulton, man. <laughs> I, I, think, I ain't I seen none of that really. Like, yeah, I ain't seen none of that. like his cheeks was mad sunken in and shit. Like I just think in a way looked the same, but Fulton man. Fulton looked like he had it eaten in a minute. So <laughs> I just think them niggas mad small, both of them. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Shit. So, guys, can you tell me what you think about the wrapping stuff that came out? Oh, we already went through that, bro. Oh, really? Oh, I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I really wanted to see know your opinion on it but i guess I'm i don't kidding. have an opinion i mean i heard Stitch yeah. say his shit so if he said it was bullshit then i don't know damn that arena's packed bro I, I, I I it. It. dre i've been said this fight was a 50 50. it just depends on the strategies and how to execute do any of you lot know what brand uh, gloves in anyways were? It's, it's winnings, winnings, I mean, winnings, I believe. It's winnings. winnings. Yeah, winnings. We solved this fucker okay. in, the, in, the, in the market. I mean, nah. I was so sure my man was going to put on Cleto Reyes gloves. I think because the <laughs> hand, I mean, he just coming off hand surgery, he probably worried about breaking his shits again. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I like winning gloves, man. I was gonna order a, a custom pair. I mean, winnings are great for training. Those or sparring. Those are the perfect gloves for that. But yeah. if you want, if you want puncher gloves, yeah. You, yeah. Hold, yeah. hold on, are. gems. Hold on, gems. You still train? I, I still pretend. <laughs> 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 hey, That's a good a, response. There's an incredible difference between Inouye's legs and Fulton's legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You see where that power comes from from anyway. Fulton, goddamn. Fulton's got them wild legs. Fulton's, Fulton's skipping leg days. <laughs> <laughs> is Fulton uh is Fulton walking in? Yeah. 
Uh, all right. Yeah. Oh man. Really? Skate pop. Cool, uh, I like this shit. Skate pop versus hip hop. Ain't got no rapper. Mouth fucking lip syncing behind the nigga. Right, so he's going to bring Meek Mill all the way from Philly to Japan. Did he bring him? I thought he was. He should have. Yeah, I, I didn't think Fulton got it like that. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, got, they got a small little section in the front right there. Bro, Andrew Garcia instead. Like, what, bro? Hey, bro. Bruce might be able to get Meek Mill. Like, I, I thought, man, I ain't going to lie. I thought that bit would have been a little... I didn't think Fulton was making that much to get me. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Yeah, has Meek Mill ever walked someone out? Yeah, I, I, bro, I you know if I wanted to hear it, I, I would turn it up on my end. Damn, I doubt it. I know he cool with Danny Garcia, and them, but I don't, I don't know. Bro, who got the TV on? Yeah, bro, I don't even. Stop it! Say loud before this shit gets yeah, shut yeah, down. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Let's go, man. Oh man, getting that feeling. Shit, I'm ready. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely sold out. Yeah, but they show out. They show out over there, bro. People were wondering, I man, see, why did folks oh, fight in Japan? People all up in a super rafters. Look at that. That's shit. what I'm saying, bro. God damn. He's yeah. he's a superstar in that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that been there, sold dude. out, sold out. They don't be going. Damn, yeah, it's even another section. <laughs> bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, what, where, where do you think if Fulton in a way we're gonna get that type of treatment in the states? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I'm people are like Fulton shouldn't have taken this fight in Japan. I said if he wanted money, he sure as shit should have. <laughs> yeah, no, they have to go to Japan. Yeah, it was it was an obvious like that's why I'm like this whole like this fight was was off to a rough start, but it was this fight was incredibly easy to make for some odd reason. Yeah. I mean, Fulton, I mean, bro, $3 million. You think Fulton's making anywhere near that regularly? He won't make it again. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he fights in a way again. <laughs> shit. I'm surprised there was no rematch clause, but yeah. hey. I'd be like, shit. Yeah, yeah, let's have a rematch clause. Let's do it. All right, what's going on right now? It's the uh, national anthem. Joe, if you don't turn on ESPN Plus, though. Nah, nah. As soon as I, as soon as I hear, it, like, as soon as you guys say they're they're starting to announce these each other one by one, then I'm gonna switch off. But right now, I'm only watching through one screen. <laughs> I was ill prepared for this one. I woke up way too fucking late. They doing anthems. All right. This shit easy. Do any of you lot know the backstory about uh, Cool Boy's like rat tail? Definitely don't know that one, man. I, I thought it was, some, I thought it was some Philly shit. Definitely oh, never yeah. cared. <laughs> no, no, I don't care. I just like you just don't really see it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's so it was so shocking that you needed to know why. Yeah, you yeah. Like, what's going on there? <laughs> So real quick, can you guys see the the weight difference? Um, just from like when they come when together, I... uh, we'll yeah. see. Okay. Fulton don't have his uh, was that a jacket? Yeah, both of them still yeah. got their Jones on. They Jones on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, live in New Jersey for for almost a decade, bro. <laughs> Say John for everything. I'll do. All right, they about to announce shit. The All right. fighters. All right, Joey. Appreciate that.
<laughs> you good? Oh, why the fuck am I still on this? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Yo, holy shit. That is funny. Holy, I'm still on this shit. What song was that? I was just singing. Yes, you were. (laughs) (laughs) That was just the. I don't even want to talk about that. Fucking hitting them high notes, bro. That's crazy. God damn. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Put that Does anyone on. know how big the ring is? American Idol. Uh, uh d- nah, but okay. it looks kind of big. It looks sizable, right? Yeah. yeah. God damn, morning, morning lives, huh? <laughs> what time is it in the States now? 7.07 Central Standard Time. Whew. But when when you like live in the UK and watch the American fights, it's not even that late. Like they're, they're finished by like 6 a.m. latest. Jesus. Late. Bro, I went to sleep, man. (laughs) Fair enough. (laughs) It's early. Shit. Yeah, this is when I wake wake up at 3, I think. So this shit wasn't hard for me. Yeah, I woke up at 5.30. No, no, I do hear. Well, when I watched the Frank Martin fight with you, it it was, I was just watching the daylight come on. Oh, shit. Stayed up to a six. (laughs) Yeah, that's yeah. But that card, I, I mean, obviously the card came on at like what one there, two. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it started at one. See, that's the problem. Like there, I probably would try to stay up instead of go to sleep and uh, wake up. Good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why did shit put hash three sisters? Like, who really care about that? Why ain't put he beat ten undefeated fighters? Has three sisters? Has three sisters. What yeah, the they fuck? were it, yo. Oh my god. <laughs> They're retarded. That had to be a joke or something. Somebody's. Mm. That's crazy because. Couldn't find nothing else that interesting about the Unified Champion. Like, ESPN on, does that shit. Showtime does that shit. Yo, wh- who's in charge of that shit? Has three sisters. Wow. Who's got three Next sisters? Ford, Ford's got three sisters, apparently. What they saying? They fine. No, they didn't. Say <laughs> shit. They, just said he had, they literally said they was listing his accolades and says has three sisters. Wow. Okay. Oh shit, y'all are way ahead of me. But why they care so much about their siblings? Oh like, shit, yeah, you know, I had it with me. I wouldn't need to see that now. Oh yeah, brother Tacoma is also a pro boxer. Like what the fuck? Mm. I can name <laughs> way more facts about them, like. Hmm. Defeated if not. Became world champion in his fourth fight. How about the amount of divisions he's been a champion in? Or three division champion. Is it in a way on the knockout streak too? GM Strong appreciate the super chat. He says, "I hope everyone enjoys the fight. I hope you enjoy the fight, bro." Appreciate the super chat. Bro, once again, the TV is too loud. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Just put your cell phone on mute and if you want to listen to it. All right, they yeah. come together. Ah, shit, man. Let's get it. It's going to be a good one. Oh, damn. Still bro. fighting boxing, bro. You see the size difference. Yeah, for real. At least the height difference. Bro, I still hear it, man. <laughs> no, nah, that can't be me, man. Somebody turn that shit down. Bro, mine's on two you now.
All right. Well, anyway, come out in a half guard, floating in a. It's just already high started. Hands. Yeah. Mine, mine hasn't even started yet. Stab first stab jab from anywhere. Uh, a lot of posturing. Another stab jab from anywhere. Folding a little. A little bit twitchy uh, throughout two probing jabs. Series of feints, another jab. A lot of waiting and watching each other. Stab, nice jab, and fold. Yeah, nice stab. Battle of the front hand right now, I think. A bit of fencing. Fold disengages, moves left, moves right, <clears throat> back in the stance. Fold and disengaged again. Nice jab up top from Inouye. So the fact that Fulton isn't using his lead hand already, like I thought he would, uh, it's sure. It's, it might go. It might. It might go the other way. <laughs> For sure. He's, he's weary oh. of that that counter right hand. Inouye cross walking backwards almost got himself in trouble right there. Nice yeah, jab from Inouye. But he, I can see he's way faster. He's definitely quicker to drill. Like he's out jabbing him right now. A good work from Inouye in the clinch. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't just letting Fulton have his way in there. He out jabbing him. Yeah, yeah. That's a whole problem. <laughs> Inouye is starting to touch him up a bit, even if it's Did on the ground. Oh, no. No, no, not hurting. Nah, it's like, you're it's not starting to right. land, I think, even though it's on the glove. Nah, uh, yeah, uh, Raph, you're behind, remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but in a, in a way, is establishing his jab upstairs, downstairs. Fulton, Fulton kind of got his jab in a holster. So, again, from outside, in a way, in a way he's taking it like this. You just peeped it. That's going to be a whole problem. You just peeped the whistle name? What? How he whistle name? He uh, shuffled forward with the right? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, and what's his name? When he got in the clinch, in a way, working him. Yo, in a way, he's being mad physical in the clinch. Yeah, he's bro. working him in the yeah, clinch. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everything, everything, every advantage I gave for Fulton, in a way, he's taking advantage of. <laughs> Yeah, one up yeah. And, and Fulton and Fulton's not really doing much up. It's, it's just the first round, but I don't know, bro. Could it be that in a way? I mean, Fulton might not be as like his his IQ might not be as maybe as high as we thought it would. Uh, maybe it's not his IQ. Maybe it's their game plan. Mm. But we'll see as the fight progresses. But one zero in a way. He look like he weary. Like he, yeah, he, he look, look a little weary. nervous, yeah. don't he? Who who looks nervous? Fulton. 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 Yeah. But to be honest, I like what uh, Inoue is doing, just even letting him feel the power on the gloves. I feel like that will make uh, Fulton shy away a bit. Yeah, I'm surprised he's he's out jabbing the longer man, boss. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody got a what is that? An echo or some shit? What it's is? my it's my fan. I'm about to go on mute. All right, round two. Same guard from Fulton. Tried to flash that hook after the jab. Sharp ass jab from Inouye. Right hand. Mm. Mm, ugly liver shot from Inouye. Again, oh, Fulton. That's spoiler alert, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, mid range, yeah. Inouye's super is, well, I'm, you know. We said he was going to dominate mid range, but liver shot was nasty. I think Inouye going to clip him. Uh, he going to whitewash him at this point. God damn, Fulton better figure something out. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, footwork, footwork not there. Can't get out the way. Inouye sharp, man. All right, stab jab from Fulton. 
Now he's doing a more probing of the lead hand. Just did that. He, uh, uh, oh, oh, fuck. Anyway, trying just, to style on him. Yeah. All right. So the way Fulton is not, not backing up when in a way or not controlling distance well at all. Let me just say that. Mm. Anyway, get three, four shots off before Fulton moves out the way. And that's the cra and the crazy part is Fulton is incredibly bladed mm. and wide. A long stance. Very long stance. So you oh, would think you know it's you would, styling on it. Yeah, yeah. You see in that part, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you would think his uh linear movement would be quicker. I mean, with that bladed ass stance, but nah. No. I think Inno has got really fast footwork. Oh, definitely. All right. So that second backhand might have landed for Fulton on that uh, forward shift. But you know what I think is a bit unusual? I swear, um, Inoue has never really fought with his front hand like that low. I've seen him fight like that. Fair enough. I, I don't really remember him. What, a, what a, the half guard? Yeah. He did that against Donny. What, a low, low lead hand? 2-0 Inoue. Yeah. Easy. Okay. Oh, no, I don't even remember that. I think Fulton is getting slightly more comfortable. Slightly, I don't like. I don't like how when he uses lateral movement, he push he pushes guard all the way up. You see how that backhand is coming. You see how Inoue is cutting him off when he. Mm -hmm. God damn, bro! Please mute yourself or mute your TV, man. One job landed each round. That's crazy. Wait, bro. Yeah. What an amazing time for my internet to shut off. <laughs> I mean, really, really great. But yo, the fight keeps going this way, bro. Oh uh, yeah. I, I'm in a way easily. I'm extremely impressed with, with in a way right now, bro. I, I mean, bro, the fight the fight keeps going this way. I mean, we got an obvious pound for pound fighter. Yeah. <laughs> Until Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I fought and stepping on his foot. Nice little jab, stab jab to lead hand hook from anyway. Again, same counters we time out in the film study. Smacking uh Fulton. Who do you look so, for? He's so uh who tricks, he's so bladed that that he that it's lined up like that. Look how bladed oh, he is. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, now nah, I see. He looks like he's trying to pick it up this round. Yeah, he's trying to step forward a little bit. In a way, giving it to him, though. Trying to pick it up on that ball. But he's not doing it with the lead hand, though. That lead hand tuck. Right, well, there we go. Yeah, it looks like he's picking up his jab. He's just trying to walk forward a lot, though. He's not doing putting anything, he's not disguising his advance at all. Good job, in a way. A little cross to the body from Fulton. Why is he that bladed, man? It was uh, so all right. So to stay in a traditional guard and walk forward without punching, you're just bound to get punched. <laughs> I mean, he's just getting hit by jabs and keeps making a reset with that stab jab too. Hmm. 
Nice little inside work from both guys. I think it's because he's sitting down, though. Like, in it with that long stance. Do you not know, like uh, what, that why he's get, uh, getting hit when he's coming forward? I feel like, you know what I mean? It should be a bit light on his feet. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. If you have a, a stance that wide and bladed, usually that's for the benefit of better movement. Up, no, yeah, yeah. Linear. Linear. Yeah, yeah, linear. yeah, yeah. Straight back and forth. But you don't see a lot of that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. saying. It's kind of weird to just be coming and, forward with that stance. And usually it's in line with pulling. Yeah. Pulling the head, you know what I'm saying? But it's not a lot of head movement from Fulton unless he ducks. And Fulton lip busted. Nose, nose, really. nose, yeah. Nose, yeah. Yeah, uh, 3 0 in a way, easy. Yo, the man. Yo, that bug. He's beating his ass right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not much more to say. <laughs> Whatever yeah. game plan they had, it's it's time to throw that shit in the garbage. Do you, do you lot think this is going to distance or stoppage? Uh, it depends. I mean, it's hard to say. Fulton I mean, Fulton's forward. getting touched up, but he's you know he still got the confidence to walk forward. So I mean, maybe mm. the, maybe the maybe the punches ain't hurting him like like they look like they hurt. Yeah, <laughs> I think in a way respecting him a lot. Like he's not just walking to him; he's not just opening up on him. He's respecting him. Yeah, and he's definitely got um times in a round where he takes breaks too. Yeah, in a way does. Where you would think Fulton would take some advantage, but not yet. We'll see. All right, there's a double jab from Fulton. He got countered for it, but landed a backhand to the body. All right, now we see a little head movement. Okay, nice little double hook from Fulton. Yeah, on the inside. All right, working on the inside in the clinch. Ref, ref broke him up quick. Best start to a round Fulton has had so far. Ended a good right hand. Mm, good right hand over the top. Are you a second ahead of me? Yeah, finally. Yeah, by far the best round Fulton has had so far. Nice defense. Good stab jab from anywhere. Nice double jab from Fulton. Stab jab to like a hit arm before a hit body. That hit glove. Fulton think he got something with that one overhand. Nice little inside counter from anyway right there. Okay, yeah, Fulton uh, definitely wants to be the bully right now. Nice stab jab from in a way. A couple series of nice jabs from Fulton. Yo, <clears throat> in a way, his control of distance is so nasty, bro. Nice jabs from in a way. Full defense getting better. Yeah. Stab jab for stab jab. Mm, nice swivel jab from NOA. Now this is turning into that high speed chest. Yeah. Way more competitive, unlike them first three rounds. Mm. Fulton, Fulton just had the inside position, but smothered himself. Didn't work. Nice body shot. Nice, all right, it's a lot of nice shit going on. I ain't going to name it all. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little back and forth right there. What time are you up? Nine seconds. God damn. Yeah, God, honestly, brother, I'm at 52. So the way I score fights now, bro, I, I wouldn't say that was uh, – I would say that was an even round. I would say it was 10-10. 
Yeah. Nice ass swivel jab on that replay. The rest of them, <clears throat> the rest of them shits was partially blocked that they showed. So I got it, I got it, um, forty thirty-seven, I believe. In a way. Stab, jab from Fulton, jab from Inouye. Nice jab from Fulton. Jab from Inouye, a little liver shot from Fulton. I mean, uh, Inouye. He tried it on that combination. Nice jab from Fulton. Tore that guard apart. Ooh, nice combo mm. from full. Lead backhand from uh in a way got through pretty clean. Oh, one two ugly for full. Mm. God damn. Yeah, fight's getting a lot more competitive. It's what I expected. Oh sure. my god, he's splitting that high guard, bro. <laughs> nice two, uh, bro. Yeah, in a way, in a way at this point. Just out working Fulton. Fulton needs a oh backhand was ugly from Fulton. Facts. God damn. It's a lot more back and forth now. But I still think anyway is edging around so far. Yeah. Fulton deciding to rest in the clinch instead of work. Probably feeling the pace. I mean, hmm. yeah, the pace is the pace is getting extremely uh, high. Yeah. Nice jab. Look, disengagement. Nice little cut. <clears throat> nice little steps to cut off the ring. Nice defense right there from Fulton. Mm, one two one for Fulton lands with straights. Yeah, yeah. Nice jab from anywhere. You you really didn't have time to take a breather in this round, I think. Nah, damn. damn. That was a more competitive than the first three, but that was a. I think yeah, that was a it's a, you know, I think it's back to an away round for sure. I got it fifty forty six in a way. The routes to that body, man. Yeah, man. Mm. That was ugly. Nasty body shot. A great performance so far from Inouye. Uh Rounds are getting more competitive, but Inouye definitely dominated the first three rounds.
Nice jab from Inouye. I mean, I think so. The overhand might work for uh, Fulton in a second here. If Inouye's going to counter every counter or every jab with a counter jab, okay, that time it was a slip counter right hand, but Fulton got out the way. But yeah, he's starting to look for that uh, for that overhand over that single mid range jab. Could be. Yeah, yeah, but I think both of them are doing the same thing. Ah. Okay, there goes the jab to a hook from Fulton that landed. All right, so maybe he was looking for that instead of the overhand. Nice little work from Inouye. Mm, right swivel jab, nice. Mm, nice, nice little he split the guard with a backhand. Nice little counter jab from Inouye. Again, I, so it looked like Fort was trying to set the trap for his own overhand because uh, Inouye was countering his jab with a jab constantly. Mm, nice little one, two, uh, five from Inouye. All right, so but instead he's going for a jab and a lead hand hook. Oh, there it goes, fam. You see that overhand Atlanta for Fulton, bro? That was an ugly shot. But nice jab from Fulton, but in a way landed a couple himself though. A little Manny Pacquiao action from in a way right there. Fact, if they catch that shit on a replay, you're gonna see it sound like y'all yeah, missed it. <laughs> 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 or the silence makes me think. Now we're about fifty seconds behind still. Nah, so there's an overhand as in a way uh, jumps in that Fulton lands that's solid as fuck. He just yeah, messed with his name. Nice. Yeah, nice little uh, jab, pull, I, jab from in a way. But again, a it's another in a way round. Yeah. Let me see if they caught that shit on a replay. No, I think I, think I just threw it. Them steps are so explosive. Oh, uh, no. Nah. All right. So now they decide to show a montage of some other shit. It's the body ring. Yeah, like you know, they're just starting to pick up the face. Bro, when they do body work, they usually don't show stab jabs, fam. <laughs> I mean, you nah, know what my fighter is. That was fire. How he came with a stab jab, came up with the hook. Like, that's athletic. Some fluish or anything. Nice step back job. I got it sixty fifty five in a way. I like what Inoue is doing here to be fair. I think he's just starting to just hit him anywhere he can, even if it's on the arms and the gloves, just let him feel that physical presence are you talking about on that high guard yeah yeah just make mm, uh like scoot, scoot, shell up a bit mm, nice counter hook from fulton right there yeah so <laughs> Even though Fulton is super bladed, in a way's uh, linear movement is much better than Fulton's. Like he's backing out in a straight line, but he's getting back in a hurry. And Fulton's uh, he's not keeping up with it either. Like sometimes he can catch him going out, most of the time he can't, just like that right there. I think it's because in a way it's kind of pushing off his toes, whereas Fulton's sitting down. So in a way, it's just got a Ooh, bit more spring in his leg. Fucking Fulton. Ooh, big backhand from Fulton right there. A little four around the high guard.
Why the fucking why did why the shit get so cloudy looking? <laughs> yeah, it looks purple, isn't it? Or yeah, what's going on yeah. with this shit? Yeah, no. I don't know what that's all about. Well, like the Undertaker nice coming up, quote, man. Jab off that lateral this movement. The camera. Like the Undertaker coming out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, no, nah, it was just that one camera. Combination, most of that shit missed. Nice overhand. Yeah, that was a nice mm. overhand. Nice overhand. Yeah, yeah, nice overhand. That was a little low. You know what? What around the guard? So far, I I like the Fulton for this round. Uh, now Fulton is maintaining distance. Hey, this would be the first round he wins for me. Oh, clean out. Yeah, he's controlling distance better. In a way, he's throwing a lot, but missing damn near everything. Nice jab right there. Nice Biggest jab. shots was definitely landed by Fulton. Of the round, okay, nice jab right there from uh, anyway, though, bro. You got to finish it strong, no fan. You can't just, yeah, oh, nice. you know, oh, okay, nice, jab. nice, nice two shots for Fulton right there, but yeah, you still got to finish the shit strong. You know, it's starting to really load up now. Mm, counter jab from Fulton, yeah, I like Fulton for that round. I like the work he did in that round, too. Um, sixty Okay, yeah, I think what's his name? Uh, Fulton's starting to catch him a bit with straight punches when in a way he's uh, loading up a bit too much. Hmm. It's much, first round, much, yeah, uh, right. much calmer round. Uh, both of them started off real. Real uh, hesitant. Hmm. In a way, kind of a trip right there. Trying to throw that stab jab. Fulton oh! Oh! Uh oh! Shit! God damn it! What's going on there? Oh! Knock down. In a way. What he got knocked down? Knocked him down, bro. That's God. Well, who knocked who down? In a way, got a knock down. Fulton's hurt bad. Fulton's legs is gone. Fulton hurt in a way. No, other way around. This is about to get stopped. hurt bad. It's about to get stopped. This is about to get stopped. It's over. It's over. What did I tell you lot at the start? Didn't I tell you he's gonna get? I got a feeling he'll get cracked. Fulton, yo, this dude in a way, bro. Yo, <laughs> hey, he came out, he came out that round looking real tragic, bro. Like Fulton, he it looked like he didn't, you know what I'm saying? He was just waiting there, but, but man, anyway, anyway's a monster, bro. He turkey. This nigga in, is the anyway's a monster, fam. Number one pound Woo! for pound. God he damn. Turkey. Number Agreed. one pound for pound. Oh, number one pound for pound for sure. Yeah, anyway, third. This dude is oh, so fucking nice with it, bro. Yeah, oh, he, he ugly. Yeah, shit. That, shit was, that shit was ugly, bro. I had this shit being fucking one of the most competitive fights, the competitive oh, matchups we ever gonna see, bro. Shit, it was, a, it was, out. bro. It was a, it was the uh, only thing about it. Only thing about it was the weights. Yeah. That's oh shit, that's pound for pound, bro. Oh yeah, he's pound for pound. But sure. I did. I didn't say. It. I think what's his name. I think Inouye gets hit more, but less flush. Whereas the other one gets hit less, but them flush shots, boy. Yeah, bro. Oh, he man. came out again. He looking got at shit. him, 
Crack. Look at him stay uh, stationary like he was, man. It was, I don't know, it's real weird. What the fuck was he hobbling for? Uh oh. Don't tell me it's excuse time. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Check his loves. Hey, yo, look. This dude, uh, now you, bro, you got a real shot to become double undisputed by the end of the year. Yeah, that, hey, hell of a performance, man. He dominated, dude, bro. bro that God was a damn. crazy ending. That, that, that was through. mad, bro. God damn. Philly tight right now. Philly, it was the overhand. Look at that, bro. Is that stab jab? Mmm. Mmm. And that leap and left hook just. It gets mad athletic, bro. That ass. Nah, well, 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 okay, so where's he going on? Ping, ping, ping. Number He's one. Number one. Go the way he catches his nose with number that one. hook. Who, who can you say is above him? Yeah, and no, I'm just yeah, asking nah. you. Look, I'm, I'm not saying anyone's above. Uh, yeah. nah, he's he just came man. off undisputed, and went right up and beat the man in the next division. He's the best fighter in the division by knockout, bro. Nasty, not not like for not, not like knockout. a stoppage or like some coogly shit. He just went out and Four. fucking flat. Yeah, he just destroyed that man. Four. And he was out boxing yeah. him too, bro. Yeah, he was out boxing him too. Bro, I'll box the man, knock his ass out. This dude is the best. He's got to be like, the best fight. Dude. <laughs> we, we you got to say, out the air. Bro, all Look, I got to say. Was, that shit was so dominant that no matter what happens on Saturday, um, foul. Oh, well, shit. I don't know. All right. So, yeah, it had to be a stoppage on Saturday. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, it had to be a stoppage. Bro, in a way, it's the best fight in the world right now for me. Yeah. <laughs> The it had to be a stoppage on Saturday to replace him as number one pound for pound. And right. it, I think it, it'd have to be Crawford. Yo, Joey. It'd have Hold to up. be Crawford. I know. I agree. Be uh, time are you surprised how Inouye was able to essentially outclass for, for no, a majority of fight? I, I actually wasn't. Because um, like the thing is, y'all were talking about the jab, and I actually wasn't on there yet. But... Uh, I don't know, man. I just, I just feel. I personally felt like gems. Uh, when talking about the jab, I thought like if you're just talking about the punch alone, just throwing it straight, um, just, just the actual like motion of it. I thought, anyways, was more fluid. Like, gem, I remember watching one of gems's videos on that oh, a minute back and just studying anyways jab, and I'm like, dude, this this guy's jab is nasty. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, now nah, he proved it this fight. It's it's more piston like, yeah, for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, you 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 said that a long time ago, but damn, Jams, that 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 stab jab to that overhand, we did say that overhand could be a problem. Yeah, yeah for sure, bro. Man, film don't lie. Nah, you know what, man? Again, Fulton came out so goddamn stationary and motionless. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I, you could tell, like, damn, what is is he trying to set something up? This might be a problem. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, in a way, he's been proven to be the quicker fighter throughout the fight. Yeah. So, so why you would be motionless in front of him? Mm-hmm. Then it was stab jab overhead. Game over. I mean, here's the thing. Even though I thought the the only round I gave Fulton was round seven, because I was yeah, like, I only, I only gave him one round. So I, I, I my, scored one of them a ten ten though, like round four. Yeah, 10-10. me too. I did the same. Because the thing is, is that I was like, Fulton, he's getting good work, but he's getting outworked. Yeah, so yeah. so um, at, at that point, he was just like, even if Fulton would have moments, he it just got overwhelmed by, in a way, his volume, which is surprising. Because Fulton is a volume puncher. God damn. Bro, it, in a way, he just kept turning up the pace higher and higher. I, I think higher. it was the, the power. Hey, did, Fulton's, did Fulton's gloves uh, touch the canvas initially? Yeah, they did. They did. Oh, okay, so that so the hook was just a lot of extra. 
Well, yeah, we'll in, that in fucking... terms of the the volume, mm, I don't yeah, know. fucking killed them, bro. Wait, no, no that... they didn't touch. They didn't touch. They didn't touch. Nope. Oh, they didn't. No, no, they didn't touch at the end. He, he shook his team hand, but he didn't oh, touch. Oh no, uh, I didn't four. touch. No, no, no. No, we're talking about like the, the knockdown. oh at the start. Yeah, yeah. The knockdown. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn, bro. Oh, yeah. I feel like talking my shit. <laughs> bro, I did. I did say that. I forced his name. I don't think Scooter gets hit much, but when he does, it's flush. Yeah. You got cracked there, boy. Well, I mean, well, you've got a new half a pound king, bro. Bro, can we just look at the landscape of how much 122 has changed this year? Yeah. <laughs> the, top, the top three guys all lost. MJ, Good for it. Bryce, Salim, and Cool Boy Steph. Yeah, all, I, I ain't beat. agree with that Aleem one, but yeah. yeah, no, neither did I. Neither did I. But I, I'm just talking about how they all just everybody just got defeated. Yeah, for but, sure. Uh, and now there's like now uh, I don't know if anybody noticed who they were lo- putting the camera on, but they were looking at the other unified yeah, champion. Yeah, Marlon Yeah, but. Uh, Shit, it's looking more and more likely. In a way, might be an undisputed champion by the end of this year. Like, but oh yeah, it look like you're running through this shit. Yo, if he runs <laughs> through, uh, if he runs through ban- uh, super bantamweight, bro, like, all like, hmm, where do we put him in terms of this era? That's funny. I asked that question a few days ago, but <laughs> apparently, I was reaching a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Nah, before the fight, hell yeah, you was reaching. It was a hypothetical. <laughs> it was a hypothetical. Well, I, you said you said if he beats if you if he goes to the next division. Yeah, if I if I say he wins a strap there, I didn't say he becomes undisputed there, but like wins a strap. Yo, hey, to Fry James, appreciate the super chat. He says, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's that type of performance for sure. Uh <laughs> Jameson Childress. I hate being wrong, but damn, credit where it's due. Yeah, nah, that's a destruction, bro. Yeah. Uh, hey, but hold on, backyard profit. Appreciate the super chat, fam. Yeah, that's he, he, he did, he did buddy wrong. If if nah, if I don't, I don't got know. time, bro. Who's on the panel is gonna be who's on the panel. I'm about to end this shit. Yeah, bro, you know how I think you could tell. Uh, what's it? In a way, it's power. <laughs> Proud of really Pierre. On, hold on, Proud of Pierre on his hating shit. Vada testing is a must. LOL, great window. <laughs> oh, god, <laughs> it's okay. Proud of Pierre, it's okay. My man lost bread like Jacob did. It's okay. I lost money too. Yeah. What did you not bet on? I uh, I just put a little bit on Fulton because it was like plus three hundred. It was too good. Yeah, it, it was, was it was too good. Bet, yeah. yeah. Nah, sorry, boys. Man, man's up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I've been up since oh one. <laughs> but anyway, um, um, yeah, uh, I put a little. I mean, ah, bro, I don't bet a lot of money on these fights, but I, put I only, a I only money put on twenty to be fair. Yeah, should I? Yeah, I bet twenty. You know? Yeah, I put twenty on stoppage. But gems, like, even though this fight was like, like we said, that's why we said this was a 50 50 fight because it was just hard to predict how the how the, how it would move, but. Or the strategies, man. I mean, that's the thing. Like, without being in the camp, it's just it's hard to say. You know, what I'm shit. Saying? But look, but what? you also said, but look where the which distance it was fought at from the majority of the fight. It was mid range, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. So no, you know, you notice how bladed Fulton was, and he still, yeah, could, I did. He still couldn't get out those mid range positions. You know, what I'm saying you would think his his linear movement would have been a little quicker mm-hmm. on how bladed he was. That's why they were touching toes and shit. In the closed stance, like that's not supposed to be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not supposed to be touching toes, <laughs> yeah. especially but, uh, from closed stance. Yeah, yeah. So. shit. Uh, proud Pierre say, Cool that's Boy looked lost with in a way jab alone. Uh, yeah, yeah nah, I, I'm not, I'm not sure of the game plan, like I was saying. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna say this even if that knockout hadn't have happened, the way, the way that fight was moving. Nah, Bolton needed a knockout to begin with. Yeah, no, yeah, he already won like seven rounds at least on my card. It was over. No, I had it. Um, what I have it five one one. No, I had it sixty nine sixty five anyway. Yeah, 
He could have caught up, but that would have been a drastic change somehow. Yeah, and I didn't exactly. See that, that that was my Bro. thing. It only just had too much momentum. It was the only round that I was like because Fulton oh, caught in a way. The next uh, victim in the ring. I think the sixth. The sixth was the only round where I can say that he won for sure. Bro, twenty five wins, twenty two knockouts, and four different weight classes in twenty. Title fights, man. Yeah, no. Oh, one, yeah. Hey, hey, he number one pound for pound. He bro. number I mean, one, I don't bro. Care what your list criteria is, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Like literally, yeah, as soon serious. as as soon as Colson really? touched the canvas, I'm like, this dude is the best in the world. I don't, I don't give a fuck about yeah. July 29th yeah. unless Crawford like knocks saying, Spence out. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, do, you, do any of you not know who's this guy in the ring now in the white shirt? That's the other champion, Marlon Tapalis. But uh, oh, it's not, oh, even yeah. if Spence can't be pound for pound number one after this performance, I'm sorry. Nah, he couldn't. It Best had to be Crawford man. only because it'll be the undisputed twice. Yeah, like I don't like, but even even with that, I don't see, I don't see Crawford blitz and Spence like this either. No, nah, I can't. I can't. Nah. I can't. I mean, well, nah, nah. I can't. Nah. I, not not the first nah, two rounds, bro. No, I mean, nah, because no. he was just that was just completely dominant. He it was nasty, bro. That's crazy. he outclassed Fulton. Yeah, like he, like when you literally saw the best, the, the unified champion just get little. Not he didn't just get knocked out. I took the school. I mean, I won't say took. He school, just he just got thoroughly out outclassed. Yeah, like it was it was a clear difference in levels, man. Whenever full whenever Fulton would have success, in a way would turn up in that exact moment, bro. I mean, dude, all I'm saying, I was surprised by like. The, the game plan, not the surprise about the game plan, but the consistency and intelligence behind Inouye's overall game plan with his team, mm -hmm. man. You could tell they studied the hell out of Fulton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. As soon as, uh, soon as Inouye start dominating with his jab, I, I knew it was a problem. Yeah, you said that. <laughs> that shit really, <laughs> shit like, be that tough, bro. Be <laughs> like, he's not supposed to be winning this outside battle here. I feel like the first few I feel like the first round, what was going through Fulton's mind is like, yo, this motherfucker's jab is quick as shit, bro. Fast <laughs> down, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Little motherfucker speedy. Nah, so this like, was right yeah, too. Ugly, oh my god, ugly. he gotta cut it off now. Ugly. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he gotta man. cut it off now. <laughs> Look oh at man, still swinging. God damn, that left hook really did it, but but um. <laughs> He said he knocked the rat tail off. <laughs> but yeah, what a what a uh flaw what a, though. No reason to block to drop that lead hand at all when blocking the stab jab, bro. I mean you know, no the, reason for it. Was was crazy that Fulton was being very was being very disciplined, I would say, with keeping that, that yeah, shield up. He was until, until that round where I think it, in a way he was just setting him up with all them stab jabs. And he and he, I think in a way set that up with his eyes too. Like he was looking straight at Fulton, set it up low just to go down high, man. Beautiful, beautiful combination. Yeah, man. Very impressive, man. Mm -hmm. uh, proud of Pierre says Fulton base was too wide and didn't defend the lead hand. Yeah, he didn't. Mm -hmm. Didn't defend much of nothing. <laughs> Damn, bro. To be able to move up, become undisputed, move up. Knock out a pound. I consider Fulton to be like you could have made. He should had a number ten pounds. on my list. <laughs> yeah, to knock out a pound for pound fighter, completely outclass dude, bro. And then yeah. flatline him. Nah. nah, it was the it was the dominance from round one. Nah, that's, man, like that's gonna be the, tough to. The knockout was a cherry. If this fight was super competitive, and that would have been one thing, and yeah. and you know he just caught his ass. But I was like, I was trying. I'm like, man, can I get Fulton this? It, it wasn't up until that yeah, last round because he was hitting in a way clean. At one, in that round, I thought he buzzed in a way for a minute. Yeah, I agree. I know. But what um, um, at first, and truth be told, maybe do you, obviously I would say in a way's power came up, but I don't think he's starching guys out Look, in this division. They're showing, like, hold on, they're showing <laughs> replays of Fulton not dropping that lead hand on you know when when uh. Matter of fact, anyway, did the exact same thing: stab, jab, overhand. Yeah, and uh, he he didn't drop the lead hand, but just all of a sudden, 
That yeah, one Fulton made that one mistake. Got cracked. Uh, Fulton immediately, bro. Fulton's lights just went out, dog. That's crazy. Oh, you know what bitch. I think the difference is, Gems? It, I think Ooh. I think Fulton's team knew he was down. So Fulton at that point, he was moving forward for the majority of those. Um, yeah, well, it still ain't no reason to drop that lead hand. I mean, for what? No, nah, that's true. That's true, man. He he got uh, he got careless for sure. Yeah. Punch stats. Those punch box. Oh man. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, fucking. Uh, I hate copy box, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I bet those, those stats are heavily, have almost over heavily in, in a way's favor. They'd probably yeah. say hey, Bolton landed 20 punches as fucking fights. That's, that's retarded. <clears throat> Fraud box. <clears throat> I said he landed 71. 71, Bolton? Yeah. Throughout eight, that's eight punches. That's about eight punches per round. Who you think you give in a way a run for his money? Uh, uh Figueroa in the next so division, fifth division up. move up. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy that we have to say that. Shit, yeah, though. yeah, it's gonna be we the gotta next go to division another up. division 26. Because, bro, I don't Kyle see anybody Wick, beating monster go Pac Man. Hell no, no, bro. No, Pac Man was an alien. <laughs> let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves. But you know the crazy thing is, it's just like a lot of people say the next Pac Man. I don't. I strongly disagree. In a way, it's far more skilled than Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, technically skilled for sure. Yeah, constantly I, setting traps. I mean, Pacquiao wasn't doing all that. He's an encounter puncher like a that. Athletic freak. Mm-hmm. Like that, that's the thing about this fight that was surprising me, man. In a way. Like Pac Man couldn't go, uh, couldn't couldn't play chess with you like that. Ask Marquez. Yeah. So, I think so. Uh, again, he's gonna have to prove it every weight division he goes up. How old is Inaway now? He's thirty. He's thirty. Uh, yeah, he probably he he could. Yeah, he had to prove it each division, man. But again, the next division up, Figueroa. I think that would be a very very tough test. Yeah. For sure, but for it, um, Figueroa is a horrible fight for anyone. For real, yeah, you gotta be a hell of a fighter to deal with that. that yeah, honestly, it's either it's either in a way is going to find a way just to make it look easy by just outpointing him, I believe, or or it's gonna be a tough, tough fucking it's fight. Be a dog fight. Who's that, Figueroa? Yeah. Yeah. Like, all, all of his fights are gonna come down to the a dog fight. Though, I think. Bruh. Bolton got knocked out just a week after his birthday, man. <laughs> <laughs> At least he can go enjoy it now. At least okay. it wasn't on his birthday. Nah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh man. Now, respect, All right. Bro, I, I gotta to school, I gotta man. I gotta go to work. So I gotta yeah, get off the money. Yeah, uh, have a good day, boys. I'll see you all Saturday, up, man. What a fun see you fight on... to watch. Right, yeah. Anyways, number one pound for pound. Best Bye, fighter boys. in the world right now. Um, you a hater if you think otherwise. All right, y'all. Peace. 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 Peace